as I mentioned all of last week, I was going to go ahead and speak about a topic that has just come into the forefront and it could be one of the biggest either threats or opportunities for you in this business and it's called universal housing, okay? First of all, um, let me read you the definition from the Universal Housing Alliance. Housing is a basic need, just as food, education, and healthcare, and should be a human right. We can only reach the full potential of our world by, by giving full access to quality housing to all. Okay, this is a, this is a George Soros type thing. Um, the, they estimate the cost of universal housing. Now, basically what this is gonna mean and what they're trying to do is to provide free housing like they've done, you know, free healthcare and, and all these other things to everybody else. Um, when I first started talking about this a week or two ago, uh, it was, you know, just a concept stage. And some of my buddies around the country were talking about this in terms of this is something that we're probably gonna come down the pipe where the government through what they've done for the last 12 months through COVID has essentially been manipulating the private marketplace and allowing people to stay in houses, as many as up to 10 million of them, depending on whose numbers you believe, to stay in houses free of charge and put the monkey on the back of the landlords. Um, universal housing has been talked about for several years, <clears throat> but after I got done announcing it last week, they're gonna talk about it this week, that same day, a headline came down from the Sacramento Bee. Uh, it said, need help with a down payment. California Democrats want the state to chip in for home buyers. Great, here it is, it's coming. Let me read you the first part of this article. California get, will get in the business of helping first time home buyers make down payments under a new proposal that aims to lower barriers to ownership in an era, era of sky high, sky high housing costs. Coalition of seven, seven Democratic senators formally announced the California Dream for All Act program last week as part of a larger budget proposal that they want Governor Gavin Newsom to consider. The state would serve as a silent partner to first-time homeowners in exchange for up to 45% ownership of their house. By their calculation, that means that someone eyeing a $400,000 home could buy it for a more affordable price of $220,000 with the state picking up the tab for the other $180,000. Owners would still have to maintain the property, pay taxes, manage insurance. Uh, eligibility would hinge on um, things like income level and housing prices, although the two markets would, the two metrics would vary regionally by state. Uh, our California State Senate president called the program one of the most daring proposals yet and said it would create a once in a generational change uh, uh, for these people, for this generation. Um, to fund the program, a state-sponsored corporation, so one other little turd in the punch bowl there, the state is going to get in the private business and form their own corporation competing with regular corporations. They would make a one-time deposit using available dollars. Now, what you can read into available dollars is tax dollars, right? California has the second highest tax rate uh, for individuals behind, I think, New York State, maybe third behind Connecticut, New York. Um, and they're proposing a doubling of state income tax. You know, so that's where the available money comes from. Uh, the state then would, the theory is the state would sell shares to investors to generate new revenues. In other words, we fund it with tax dollars. It would get sold out to the regular public. But essentially, the concept here is that everybody gets uh, not a free house, that's where they're going with this thing, but in the interim, gets their house owned 45% by the state of California. Now, um, I'll summarize the, the rest of the article here. Basically, what it, it's talking about is um, you will have to maintain the house and, and everything according to the state rules. They're your minority partner, but they're the ones bringing the cash to the table. State of California would put 180000 into this particular example I just talked about, you get a loan for the 220, so you may have little, if any, money into the deal. So California would be able to control, um, you know, how you maintain your house or if you don't maintain it and, and those types of things. And also, if, you, if and when you sell it or when California wants out, you've got to pay them back not only the 180,000, but the increase in equity 
that you got between when you bought it and what it sells for. So in other words, they're going to share on the upside of your house. This is, in my opinion, everybody here, uh, this is just flat socialism, communism, whatever you want to call it. This is people, um, private enterprise capitalism, having their lives interrupted by the government who's going to make a mandate, say, we're going to own, if you want a new house, we're going to own 45% of your, your house. And you will do what we say when you want. Now they couch it in all these flowery terms and, you know, it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be a benefit to people and all that kind of narcissistic crap. Uh, I don't believe it. I think this is just the, the first shot over the bow. Uh, you'll, you'll see, you know, the other uh, left coast entities here, California, Oregon, Washington, probably, you know, lead the charge on this deal and then it'll work its way back East. Um, that's the bad news, okay? I, I don't see any good news in that byline at all. Now, uh, but there is good news. There, the news is they're still, they still can't get in the business of building houses. They can get in the business of taking over existing houses. They can get in the business of financing, but I don't think they're gonna get in the business of building. There's just too high of a liability involved with that. So they're gonna have to use, and, and the new, home uh, builders or the home builders that are out there aren't building enough properties to satisfy the housing demand nationally. So what's going to happen is anybody who owns a house, um, you know, the state will be interested in looking at your house to buy to make it an affordable house. So they're going to give it away, uh, you know, to essentially or give away 45% of it to somebody who can't afford it. So What's going to happen is if you own houses, if you have control of houses, you have the ability to sell houses, at least here in California, uh, you probably will be in the driver's seat because I don't think they will get to the point of confiscation of houses. Uh, even the Soviet Union in their heyday didn't just take people, literally take their property away from them. They would make it so they couldn't live in the property. Uh, but they couldn't physically take the property away. It was, it was just too big of a, a, a hurdle there. Um, you're going to see the same thing here, I believe. Uh, you know, you're, you'll see the state coming around begging to help buy properties to put affordable people in there. Now, we've combined that with uh, this. They're trying to blend zip codes. So you've got zip codes. We all know. I mean, right here at Coronado, the cheapest house you can buy is probably a million, too. That's on the low end. There's stuff up to 39, 40, 50,000, 50 million dollars uh, for sale. And what they want to do is they want to take an area like this, which is a single zip code, and they want to say, you know, there's whatever, 4,000 houses. We want 10%. We want 400 houses to be low income um, in there. There just is no low income housing in, in some of these areas. And so the state will, by mandate, say, you know, every 10th house has to go into this program. You just won't be able to sell it and do what you normally would do. They're, they're not going to be able to buy it for pennies of the dollar. The state will have to pay the going rate. So if the rate is a million two today for the lowest price house and all of the landlords decide, you know, screw you, state of California, we're going to raise it to a million eight, state of California's got to pay a million eight. So the, the good news on this whole deal is it's going to be a great time to own houses or at least to have the control of ownership over a house because they will have to pay at least fair market rate. I, I don't see as there's going to be a way around that for them. So I look at this as actually kind of positive, although it's horrible for, I believe, our economy and for people as a whole. Uh, it could be excellent for those in our business. They're going to create an excess, I mean, there's already an excess demand for housing and a lower supply than the demand warrants, but this will create, you know, basically a 50% increase in demand for housing. And when the demand's high, it's just like it is today. What happens? The prices go up and that's what you're going to see, I think, happen uh, down the road. So I would put myself in a position to own properties uh, one way or the other, either own them through a subject to seller finance, uh, you know, just a, a plain deed over, quick claim deed, uh, you know, buying with cash, that's not my preferred with, uh, method or buying with the loan. But, you know, ownership, I think, will have its privileges, as the old American Express ad uh, once said. And I think that that's going to be none the more so 
as you will see in the future of the housing market under universal housing. Remember, 15 years ago, some of you guys may not remember, but those of us old enough to remember, uh, if we were told 15 years ago there was going to be universal health care that everybody in this country would automatically deserve and be able to go get medical care anytime they want from anybody they want uh, at no cost, we would have said this, that, that'll never happen. It's impossible. But here we are. We have that now. So this is the next uh, tin can for them to knock off the shelf, and it will happen. Universal housing, keep your guys' eyes and ears open for that. It's going to be in the national news. Of course, it's in the news all over here in California. Um, this is a real thing. It's going to happen. And unless we you know, make some drastic changes as a society as to who makes these rules, there's not much we can do to stop it. So, uh, but take advantage of it, you can. 